welcome back uh, to Clips and Tips, a program that's brought to you during Bike Month from Bike Law Canada and McLeish Orlando. Today's topic, we're talking about riding side by side. Uh, is it allowed? Uh, it really depends on a couple of things. Number one, where you are, and number two, how you do it. So here, quickly, here it is. Uh, under the Highway Traffic Act, um, it's not prohibited to ride side by side. You, in fact, can do it. The only thing it says really is that you can't impede the normal flow of traffic. So if in fact there's a vehicle behind you, you're riding side by side, and it's not safe for that vehicle to pass you safely, then you should go into single file uh, and ride in a line until that vehicle passes. If however, the vehicle can, can pass you safely, meaning it's got another lane that it can use, or it's a serrated line and it can pass you safely by going around you um, without facing oncoming traffic, um, then you can ride side by side. So a few illustrations, um, for instance, if you have a, like I said, a lane next to you, uh, you're riding side by side and the vehicle can go into the other lane next to you to the left and pass you, there's nothing wrong with that. You can continue on your way. However, riding side by side, municipalities are also have the ability to pass bylaws on this issue and many do. In fact, um, right now there's a number of municipalities that prohibit ri riding side by side. Um, luckily in Toronto, thanks to the Morning Glory uh, Cycling Club, uh, that bylaw was repealed and uh, riding side by side is allowed in Toronto. Uh, Waterloo as well through their local cycling club, the Waterloo Cycling Club got rid of their bylaw. Again, in that jurisdiction, you can ride side by side in accordance with what I already said. Um, other places like Oakville, Brampton, Mississauga, no, there's a bylaw in place that prohibits it. So anyways, that's the way the law works. I hope it helps. You really are going to have to check your local bylaws to see what it says uh, if you're not in those jurisdictions. If the bylaw doesn't exist, you're allowed to do it in accordance with the way I laid it out. So anyways, I hope that tip helps you. Ride safely, take care, bye-bye. Oh, shout out to Friends and Family for Safe Streets, great organization that really tries to promote change in laws and other things to make cycling safe. Take care.